start off asking about uh, Andy Driver's trial. Is he likely to sign with the club? Um, no, he's not. No, he's gone back. We didn't. Uh, well, I say gone back. I think his home's in Edinburgh. But uh, we had a look at him for a couple of days, and he hadn't played since uh, November, I think, in uh, in America. And we didn't feel that he would be able to help us uh, this side of this season because uh, he wasn't quite fit enough and uh, we didn't have the time to, to get him fit to make a difference sort of thing. So it was better that uh, he seeked pastures new. Yeah, and in terms of other targets or other rivals or yeah, anything? Yeah, we've, we've got other targets and uh, we're trying very hard and I'm not giving up. You know, there's a few sort of not letting us down necessarily, but a few have fallen by the wayside and uh, some that were close uh, ended up not happening and uh, some that we thought might not be happening have, have come back to fruition sort of thing but we you know we're hoping to make a couple of uh, or get in a couple of new players pretty quickly and uh, it won't be transfer it's still got to be uh, we've got three loans at the moment it'll be another couple of loans and uh, you know we'll, we'll, we'll let you know as soon as we we know and uh, you know we don't know when that's going to be but we're trying to get these couple of loans in as quickly as possible. Yeah, and Dan Seaborn off, uh, off now, of course, off the wage bill and stuff, which is, uh, I suppose, opening up that spot as well in the squad. Uh, yeah, it has, but we didn't necessarily do it just for that. Um, you know, Dan wasn't getting his games here, so he's got, you know, professional footballers need to play, so they need to uh, go and get games, and, um, and, and that's what's happened in that situation. So, uh, you know, we wish him well, as we do Paddy, of course. And uh, we move on, and they move on. Yeah, and of course the, the games keep coming. Birmingham is a, a tough place to go. Yeah, it is. Yeah, um, you know, it's uh, we've had a couple of real good games against them. Um, one slightly controversial, but uh, you know, we we uh, we did or didn't make the right decision at the time. People are a bit disappointed that I gave them back that goal in the end, and. Uh, in hindsight, maybe I'd have done it differently, but uh, it certainly wasn't because I felt we, we owed them one. But anyway, they went f through in the end. I mean, there was still plenty of time and penalties, and, and they won that, um, fair and square, the penalties. And, and also in the league, we, we got beat 1-0, but it was a very, very tight game. It was uh, one of our earlier games, and it was welcome to the Championship. You know, they're, they're a decent team, they've had some good results, and we'll respect them and their club because... That is a fantastic football club and um, with a great atmosphere at uh, St Andrews. Yeah, a big club as you say, financial problems they've had haven't they, but uh, they've still got a lot of good players there. Do you feel that they're sort of underachieving a bit given their league this season? Yeah, listen, their financial problems are nowhere near some of you know, the, the figures of, of ours. We, we, we haven't got problems, but that's, we haven't got problems because we haven't put ourselves in that situation. But. Um, they're still out there competing for every player that comes up. Uh, they're still making offers and uh, you know uh, inquiries for people, you know that are that are on good money at other clubs sort of thing. You know, so um, you know financial problems, maybe you know may have overspent, may have not. I don't know. I don't know their figures, but uh, it's a big club, and um, you know their their finances are a lot bigger. Than, than quite a few, um, which is probably why they're in financial problems. Yeah, and Bristol Rovers gave him a game this week, didn't they? John Ward felt his side were unlucky. Um, can you take heart from that, perhaps? Um, well, you, you could do, but I mean, they won the game three 0 and uh, you know, I watched the game, and you know, they they, they look strong, and they are strong, and uh, they're entitled to be sh looking strong against the second division team. And listen, they're strong in the championship as well, so. We got to go there, not think you know Bristol Rovers only got beat three 0 and was unlucky, so we should go there and get a result. Um, we're going to go there. We're going to try and be competitive. Um, you know we've lost, uh, albeit very close games against them too, and uh, you know since that game we've sort of been looking forward to going back there and and trying again against them because they are a, a good. Um, um, it, it's a it's a team that you can. If you, if you do well against them, then it's a team where you can feel that um, you've, you've sort of competing in the championship because they are a proper championship at least team. Yeah, and one of the venues, I suppose, a lot of them in the championship, great venues, but this is one of them, isn't it? That you, your players are you looking forward to playing? Yeah, with? yeah, I've played there a few. I haven't played there. I've managed there a few times and uh, always enjoyed it. It's a, you know, it's always a it's a good atmosphere if their side is flying. Um, 
obviously like all big stadiums it's a bit quiet if the opposition are having a bit of play um, and that's what we've got to try and do so we've got to try and go there and play our game and uh, see whether it can get a good scalp. Yeah, fully fit squad almost? Um, have we got a couple that we just got to keep an eye on you know the extra day or two from as we speak will be handy for us um, but we're you know, we're all looking forward to it and uh, we'll put out a competitive team. Good luck Gary, thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> is there more kind of self-belief that you can win this game having come and take place in the past matches do you think? We don't go any, in, into any game believing that we can't win it you know there's we know that there's certain teams that have certain tactics and certain players in their teams that make them difficult to play against and uh, Birmingham are no different you know they've got some players that are difficult to play against they're good players uh, you have to be aware of that aware of their tactics and uh, but make sure that your tactics uh, come out on the day to put them under a little bit of uh, pressure if you can now you, your tactic might be to park the bus um, I won't be able to tell you that till after the game but uh, we'll leave that for the Birmingham uh, management to see whether we will or not or whether we will or not I mean, you touched on briefly before about the scale of resources, the amount of finances between the two sides. Is there a lot of mind management to show the players that they um, don't need to choke when they go there, that they can that they can bring the result home? Yeah, well, that's all about that's your training, isn't it? That's um, like training soldiers to go to war. You've got to believe that you're going to go and win it. Otherwise, you know, if you go there believing you're going to lose it, then you definitely will. So. No, that's a, a mentality that we've got to put into our lads and uh, and then they've got to have the ability to go with that. It's no use thinking you can win and not have the ability sort of thing. So we think we've got that ability and we think that we've got certain players that are growing in their confidence and in their um, uh, experience. And uh, and that's what we're going to need when we go to St Andrews. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, I know obviously Birmingham's Last a Last question, I feel I'm getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> Birmingham games, obviously. Can I just say to the supporters, I'm, this is the January red face <laughs> when you get the stress of the January red face. When you get spotty going bump, 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 bump. And so that's why I'm red. And not only that, but there's some horrible people in this room. <laughs> stress me out. Right, thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <totally. laughs> Birmingham. What was he saying, Chris Sweet? <laughs> <laughs> Birmingham's the obvious focus, but obviously Southampton not too far away in the FA Cup. You, you know, can't ignore or, or avoid what's happening down there with yeah. the situation with the chairman. How do you how do you think that plays into your hands over the FA Cup? Then? Does it? It depends on who's in charge as to what team they pick. I know if suddenly they put someone new in charge, he's not going to put the youth team out, is he? Because he's going to want to impress. Um, so uh, all, you know, all, all we can hope is that the, um, in the end, the lady that's now in charge of the football club picks the team. Because <laughs> 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 um, they have got a, a premiership team down there. And uh, it'd be a real shame because... You know that football club has grown over the over the last few years, and every decision that that club has seemed to have made over the years has been the right one. Every year they've developed, every year they've got better. They've got some fantastic players at the moment um, that most Premiership teams will want. So I've only got admiration for them, which is why I was really excited that we got drawn against them because I do see them as uh, a top team in the uh, in the Premiership.